Tablets may soon become approved for full flight travel. Rooted Galaxy S2s get multi-window support. And HTC announces the butterfly internationally, though not really. I'm Jaime Rivera, waiting for the FAA to hurry up with this tablet thing. And this is Pocket Now Daily. If you do some minor or lots of traveling like we do, you know how annoying it is to have to turn off your portable electronic devices every time the aircraft takes off or lands. The FCC chairman has just sent a letter to the FAA asking them to remove that restriction for tablets because apparently there is not much of a threat when it comes to tablets. Now that said, I worked for airlines for 15 years before I came to Pocket Now, and I know this is going to take a long time to get approved, but at least it started. If you know and love the Galaxy Note 2, you know that one of the features that everybody loves is its multi window support. As of Android 4.1.2, the Galaxy S3 customers are getting it as well, but what happens if you have a Galaxy S2? Well, if your device is rooted, there is a full tutorial on how to get this feature running on your Galaxy S2, so follow the links in the description and enjoy. Now, I've been meaning to ask you guys, do any of you care about the Galaxy camera? Anyone? Well, it seems that Sammy has now shown the world that apparently there is a Verizon LTE variant to come to the market soon, even though we have no dates for it just yet. Now, I just find it extremely funny that anybody would care about having a camera that you have to pay a full data plan for, but the market is the market. We go hands-on the Nokia Lumia 820 for AT&T, which is a mid-tiered variant Windows Phone 8 device. It was recently released, and even though we have reviewed the Nokia Lumia 810 for T-Mobile and the 822 for Verizon recently, we are going to give this 820 the full treatment on AT&T and tell you if it's worth the money or not. So make sure you watch Michael's video and tell us what you think in the comments down below. And finally, for the oh no, you can't be serious news of the day, HTC has just officially shown the butterfly on their international website, which is code for yes, you can buy this international variant, carrier unlocked, and it even has a micro SD expansion slot. Everything is cool so far, right? Well, hold it right there. This device has dual band 3G. And for anybody that knows, dual band 3G is not really an international phone. It can't work everywhere. I mean, the Galaxy Nexus that was released last year is Pentaband 3G. So it does seem that apparently this is not the international variant that ended up by mistake on this website. And apparently this is the Chinese variant that people can buy unlocked and it's not really a global phone. So that leads me to the question of the day. Even with this disappointment, do you want an HTC butterfly device, probably with a different name, to be launched on wherever you are to get it soon? In my case, I'm desperately waiting for this device, so make your voice be heard, leave us a comment down below. Now, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. <laughs>